Hi, welcome today. Today we're going to remove uh, ink and photo emulsion off our screen. We've removed our tape from the screen after printing and don't worry about the screen filler that's there. These uh, products will clean the screens. So to the left is an ink remover agent that we're going to use first and to the right is a photo emulsion remover. Again, first uh, ink remover with a dedicated pad and photo emulsion with its own dedicated pad. You don't want to mix these things up. In the power washer today, we're going to use the white tip, which is a more uh, smaller tip opening and very powerful. And so what we're going to do now is wet both sides of the screen very generously. Uh, you want to do this because if you're using these products and uh, you spray them on a dry spot, they can lock in the photo emulsion and make it a little bit more permanent. So we're always working and cleaning from a very wet, wet, wet surface. So we're going to do that from both sides. Once we get that wet now, we are going to use our ink remover first. Uh, and we're going to spray about four blasts to it. This is pretty strong and uh, doesn't need as much of the product as we do on the second part, the photo mulch remover. And the ink remover is just going to loosen up and remove any dried ink that may be on the photo emulsion and also uh, any ink that might have been on the screen. So we're using a dedicated brush and we're just going to work that in both sides. We're always working from our spray booth just to keep everything contained. All right, now that we've uh, used it, we're going to hang up the uh, scrub pad onto our spray bottle. That way we don't mix them up. And we're going to wear the fold gear, the uh, hood, the nice windbreaker weatherproof jacket. And you can wear gloves and hearing protection as well. With the power washer now, we are going to make tight little horizontal tracks very close and use the power washer and effectively just remove any of the uh, dried ink that might have been on the screen. You don't want to just wave the wand around. You just really, you're, you got a purpose here. You want to get close to the screen and just take your time and just do everything right. Uh, the ink, uh, you'll find that the screen filler will come off too uh, because of the ink remover product as well. So we're going to do that from both sides. Again, very tight uh, horizontal tracks. I am just inches away from the screen. I'm not far back at all. All right. Now we've done the first step. We've uh, washed out both sides with the ink remover and we're good to go for step number two, which is a photo emulsion remover. Photo emulsion remover, again, has its own dedicated pad. This one I'm gonna spray a lot more generously, about 10 to 12 blasts. You really want a good coverage on both sides. Just spray it really nice and wet both sides. And then we're gonna use the dedicated pad as well and we're going to scrub into the screen and what it's going to do is soften up the photo emulsion and make it easier for us to remove it. So just hold it in place and scrub. I like to spend a little extra time on the outside edges only because those are thick deposits sometimes because of the, um, uh, of the scoop coater. Just do that from both sides. Scrub it in really good. Focus on the outside edges as well or any place that has thick photo emulsion. Now, when we're not using it, we're gonna hang it back up so it doesn't get mixed up with any of the other things. Now we're gonna wait 30 seconds. And what that's gonna allow us to do, 30 seconds with a wet screen is just softening up that photo emulsion to make it easier for the, us to blast out. Now we're going to use the power washer again, and we're going to do tight little tracks really up close. Don't be afraid to get close. I'm again just inches away from the screen, and I'm going to do that from both sides. Again, with a purpose, I'm not I want to make sure that this is the best time to get everything out of your screen. If you leave anything behind, it, gets, it can harden into the screen. It gets very difficult to remove later. So it's easier to do this at this time. Just take your time and take care of your screens.
And we're going to again do this from both sides. All right, turn the power washer off when we're not using it and flip it around. Don't leave the power washer on the engines. These little electric engines can uh, melt pretty quick. So again, I'm just going to do it from this side as well. Tight little horizontal tracks, not missing anything. And this is just blasting out clean any photo emulsion that was in your screen. And just taking care of it. So now we're going to turn the power washer off. This part is done. So now we're, let's take a look and make sure everything's completely out. So I'd like to hold it up to a nice bright area in your room and just look through it. If you saw any dark, heavy green shadows of something, you still have the ability to wash it out at this point before it dries and hardens. Looks good. Everything looks good. And we've successfully cleaned our photo motion and ink out of our screen.